now we move to another paper that is the paper of first sum m economics the name of the paper is that indian economy problems and policies for indian economy problems and policies in the year 2019 one of the important question is that that is what is headline inflation what is headline inflation that is in order to explain headline inflation first what is meant by inflation how to measure inflation what about the uh, that is what about headline inflation and what about the difference between headline inflation and core inflation these are the main important concepts are included this video then first what is meant by inflation inflation is defined as that is general price level increasing continuously and value of money declining that is general price level general price level increasing continuously general price level increasing continuously and value of money declining value of money is declining that is known as inflation general price level is increasing price of major that is all of the commodities it is increasing at the same time here there is a value of money this is declining or continuous increase in the prices that is equal to inflation that's the best definition one of the important definition of inflation is that too that is too much money chasing too few goods too much money chasing too few goods that is one of the important definition here too much money chasing too few goods too much money chasing too few goods that is it is short that too much money chasing too few goods it is short that that is in order to get that is in order to get less goods we are liable to spend more money because increasing the prices of all commodities and services in order to get few goods or in order to purchase less goods and services now we are compulsorily provide high that is there is a large amount of money that is known as too much money chasing chasing means following too few goods that is less goods with high money that is increasing the amount of money so in that the definition is that too much money chasing too few goods so that's the important definition of inflation generally it is shown that higher the that is because of general price level is increasing during inflationary situation okay then inflation measured with two important ways one is that that is wholesale price index and another is that consumer price index that is wpi and that is consumer price index these are the two important measures to measure inflationary tendency or inflation what is wpi wpi is that wholesale that is wholesale price index and cpi is that consumer price index wpi is the wholesale price index and cpi is the consumer price index up to 2014 that is wpi used to measure that is headline inflation after that that is 2014 we applied consumer price index in order to measure headline inflation then what is meant by wpi and what is meant by cpi wholesale price index is the that is inflation at the producer level that is equal to that is w that is wpi wholesale price index then cpi that is consumer price index that is equal to the price at L or inflationary price at the consumer level that is based on the consumer level price that is equal to the that is consumer price index this is also known as consumer price index also known as retail price that is retail price index that is based on the that is to purchase that is the prices which used to purchase consumer goods 
price which used to purchase consumer goods that is equal to consumer price index. So, wholesale price index and the consumer price index, these are the two important ways how to calculate inflation. One is the wholesale price index and another is the consumer price index based on the price, that is the price which goods are purchased by the consumer that is equal to or that is consumer, that is the level of consumer and that is equal to consumer price index and another is the, that is the level that is the price which is equal to the producer level that is equal to wholesale price index. These are the two important ones. <coughs> Ways. The question is that what is headline inflation? What is so? In order to explain headline inflation, first we need that analyze what is the meaning of inflation, that which are the important ways to analyze or to measure that is inflation. These are the two ways. Now we reach to the what is meant by that is headline inflation. Headline inflation refers to the that is that is the in the case of total inflation in an economy total inflation in, in an economy including the commodities like food and energy total inflation in an economy including the commodities like that is food and energy that is total inflation in an economy and specially concentrate the commodities like food and energy which are very essential Food and energy, this is really essential. Based on the prices of food and energy, it can determine that is total inflationary rate. So, total inflation in an economy including that is the commodities like food and energy that is equal to headline inflation. Headline inflation vary from one economy to other. This is not constant. It is vary from one economy to other. Then, in the case of Headline inflation, there are so many characteristics okay, in the case of headline inflation. One is that headline inflation that is equal to most plus, then here there is a food plus energy. Most means most of the components are included in order to determine that is the headline inflation. Not only this, special emphasis and order to the food and energy. They are the two main components here, food and energy. That is any change in the price of food and any change in the, that is energy. Both are highly fluctuating. The prices of these two commodities are highly fluctuating. This is a, one of the important characteristics of headline inflation. That is any change, that is in the case of food items. This is depend upon environmental factors or natural factors, drought or famine, etc. This may change the supply of food items. Decrease in the supply, always it may increase the cost of production, increase the prices, etc. So here there is a chance for, here there is a inflationary tendency. In the same way, energy also, fuel prices, oil. This is also depend upon any global, that is global level change or global, that is global dynamism. This may change our, uh, that is energy price or global issue. At the same time, any political matters or political affairs also may change here our oil or fuel prices. This also means that these are the two main items highly fluctuating in character. That is food and energy. So because of this, one of the important characteristics of headline inflation is that that is most plus food plus energy most equal to most of the components are included here and special emphasis allotted to them food and energy, they are highly fluctuating in character. And second is that volatile. Volatile means changing or fluctuating in the same way. Why it is fluctuating? Because just we explained here, the food which mainly depend upon any climatic condition or climatic failure or environment factors or natural calamities, this may adversely affect food production. In the same way, in the same of energy also, this is any political issue or any global issues, this may adversely affect our energy level also. So global and global factors and political issue create impact or consequences in energy level. In the same way, any climatic or environmental factor also creating some that is any that is drought 
or famine, contamination, water contamination, etc. This may add, that is adversely affect the production of food also. Then, these, this is one of the important characteristics of headline inflation. And second is that this is volatile, that is highly changing in color. Also, explain here, this is mine, that is fluctuating. At any time, it is always changed. That is, the prices of food and energy always fluctuating. Example, sometimes this is, price is, do, that is twice, the change twice a day. Twice, that is, here there is a twice, change twice a day. So, it shows that highly fluctuating character of food and energy, that is known as volatile. And third is that this is included short term. There is headline inflation short term in character. Short term means only that is, this is the very difficult to maintain stability, always fluctuating. So short term or pinpoint change reflected here. Always change. So any small change or that is pinpoint change included, it is very short term impact created our pricing of food and at the same time energy. So these are the main item food and energy. Always it is changing. It is reflected in the inflationary tendency also. That is the another important character that is equal to this is short term or temporary. And fourth is that this mainly affected the common people mainly lower and middle class. This is mainly affected the common people mainly lower and middle class. In the case of headline inflation, it shows that one of the important characters is that this is mainly affect the common people. Common people represent as mainly the poor or lower class plus middle class. These are the four important characteristics of the headline inflation. Then another is that core inflation. Core inflation is that just the opposite of the headline inflation. Core inflation that is equal to that is headline inflation minus food and energy. If we exclude food and energy from headline inflation, that is equal to core inflation. That is, when we explain headline inflation, core inflation is very essential component. So, I added here, that is core inflation. Core inflation is that, here there is a, that is headline inflation minus food and that is energy items. So this is excluded item. It only included here there is a which are the that is most in the case of headline items are included in the core that is core item but it excludes or avoided that is the energy price and that is that is the food items price. Why it avoided here? Because these two items are mainly fluctuating. If it is avoided fluctuating that is again this is non-volatile that is volatile means changing if you add, avoided changing components like food and energy this is non-volatile that is second important component that is non-volatile is the another important characteristics of core inflation first is that headline inflation minus here there is a food and energy and second is the here there is a non-volatile, highly fluctuating. This is not fluctuating. That is, that is volatile means fluctuating. Non-volatile means not fluctuating. This is more or less constant or stable. And third is that here there is, it mainly includes long run. There is a long term in character. That is sometimes more or less stable. It taken into account more stable and constant character. This is long term. That is, it mainly explains, that is industry. That is manufacturer sector in all economy. Or producer sector in our economy. Or industrial sector in our economy. So this is more, that is in the case of this is long running character. Not taken into account in the short term. And last is that it is mainly used for political decisions and at the same time physical policy. That is core inflation mainly used for the purpose of to take political decision and also physical policy. That is why it take political decision and physical policy because this is long run at the same time more or less stable. Stability and constant condition plus long run character of the core inflation. This is mainly used for to take the political decision plus mainly applied in the physical policy also. So, 
in that case these are the main important characteristics of the core inflation so we conclude here what about the difference between headline inflation and the core inflation core inflation that is equal to headline minus energy and food which are highly fluctuated that is equal to food items and the energy so we can exclude here food and energy because of avoiding fluctuation that is equal to non volatile and third is that this is more or less stable and constant that is equal to it is long run stability and lastly that this is mainly applied for to take the political decision and the fiscal policy fiscal policy shows that any expansionary effect at the same time contractionary effect contractionary effect and stability we applied the core inflation so these are the main important characteristics or difference between core inflation and the headline inflation so that is this is the question in the year of 2019 and 2020 first is some ma economics question is that what is headline inflation thank you